this place right here, right now, is going to be our paradise. Right here in the middle of the woods, right next to a nice body of water, where I can grab some fish and hopefully gain some weight. Anyways, welcome back everyone to the Hive Mind Challenge. And today is going to be the day I probably don't see a single zombie, which is good, because I have other plans in mind. Anyways... Robin Banks has survived for five days, eight hours, killing 19 zombies, and currently we weigh 67 kilos. That's the big problem that I have right now. Because as much as I would love to go out and explore a little bit more, kill some more zombies, and officially adapt to my situation, if I were to leave this place right now without gaining any weight, we would die of low weight. It's a very real thing. And I am very much approaching it. So yeah, today's going to be just a simple day out in the woods. Now, this would be a little bit more scary if I didn't come prepared because we have, boom, a kettle and water bottle to purify any water, a axe and saw to chop down any trees so I can start fires, and lastly, the main approach for this episode, a nice fishing rod and net combo to catch all of that high weight fish goodness. With all three of these and a little bit of foraging, we should be able to live out here at least until past the chopper event and gain some weight on the way. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to pick up our water bottle and right now we're going to go set up our fishing traps and maybe do a little bit of fishing as well. Just like that, and now that we have the fishing nets down, I think we should go fish for quite a while to see what I can find. Now this is how Project Zomboid was meant to be played. We just caught ourselves a small crappie, and the reason why I am fishing right now is because it's 6.30, and if you didn't know, the times between 6 and 9 p.m. and a.m., it, it goes both sides, have the best chance of finding fish. We can also use the worms that I dug up in the previous episode, so we are vibing right now. The only thing we need is a little bit of time to catch some fish, and maybe some firewood in a little bit. But I'm gonna let this run for the rest of the day, and we'll see how many fish we can actually catch. All right, we have caught quite a few things. Uh, a bunch of fish, four pairs of shoes, and a single pair of socks. That terrifies me that my shoe to fish ratio is pretty damn high. But if I ever need some in the future, we got them. That's also extremely dark. Um, you know, I was kind of joking about the cultist compound, you know, where it does crazy stuff. But why are, the, why are there so many pairs of shoes in the lake? Are they dumping bodies in here? I'm not going to think about it because I need to sleep here. But aside from all of the shoes, we have gotten ourselves some perch, sunfish, trout, and crappie, which should hopefully keep me fed. So let's go re-equip our tote bag, chop down some trees, start up a fire, and we can get grilling. Oh no, dude. <laughs> I was supposed to chop down a tree with that. Well, we do have a plan B. And that's to find and forge my own stone axes, which is going to be a little bit more difficult than just chopping down trees with the axe. No, it's going to be extremely more difficult, but maybe I can bash down the rest of the tree with this metal pipe. I don't recommend this in real life, but it might be close enough to the breaking point where I can do this. Because if we can't, I'm going to have to starve for the rest of the day. Okay, I give up. It's 12.20 p.m. I am very hungry, but I'm just going to have to deal with it. I will forage in the morning, and hopefully we can find some tree branches along the way because I do have some chipped stones to turn into future axes. So yeah, I will see all of you tomorrow. And aside from the suffocating fog, it looks to be pretty clear. Let's go find that tree branch so I can actually eat food and gain weight like I intended. How hard could it be, right? Oh, maybe very easy. No, that's that's just a dinner plate out here. Okay, uh, maybe we'll get more lucky looking around a bit deeper. Oh, that's a log. Honestly, that will work as well. Because what I can do is saw that into logs and turn that into a drilled plank, throwing the other two planks inside the wood furnace so I can start it off with a little bit of friction. Gosh diggity dang it, I broke the only stick. We're back to square one. <laughs> now I need to find a, a plank to turn into a sturdy stick. 
With that, we can rip up the socks that I found fishing and turn those into stone axes. Just like that. Bada bam, bada boom. These aren't the best when it comes to durability, but they should be more than enough to finish off the job that I had done before. And I think it's this tree right here. Oh yeah, your days are numbered, lumberman. See you later. Hey, you know what? I'll take an extra tree. We'll go drop off the axes and finally, I can eat. Oh, there we are. You smell that in the air? That's the smell of a nice fish dinner. On top of that, I also decided to boil up a kettle of water so we can pour that into our empty bottles and not have to worry about dehydration anytime soon. Bada bam. And now it's finally time to eat. Oh yeah. We are gonna be stuffing ourselves with as many fish as possible. And hopefully if we find some bigger fish like pike and bass, I'll actually be able to gain weight. Yeah, cause even eating all of these small fish right now, it's not doing anything to me. Oh, nope, never mind. It canceled out the weight. So this is all we need to do. We just need to fish for quite literally hours and slowly build up our our calorie surplus, that's the word for it. In other words, it's gonna be pretty boring, but we have the worms, and we have the means to get more worms, and we have the fishing tools, so why the hell not? Anyways, it's time to fish for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh yeah, we are on that grind set. Hello there once again. You know when I said Robin was gonna be a fishing master, I kinda forgot one thing. I do have fishing line, and I also do have a fishing rod but I forgot to bring nails or paper clips, so I actually can't fashion fishing hooks in order to re-spool my line. Thankfully, we do have some more cabins around the area, so I'm gonna take a small break from the fishing in which we caught a small bass and a big trout, which should be pretty, uh, pretty fatty. Oh my lord, those are some big fish, dude. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna be great. But I am gonna go stop by all of the other cabins but I am gonna stop by all of the other cabins in search of pieces of furniture that I can disassemble in order to grab a couple of extra nails. If I can't find any, I can resort to spear fishing, which should be able to get the same job done. Did I open that door? I, I think I did. I Sorry, I, I, I kind of got spooked there. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. <laughs> My heart, dude. <laughs> okay, no, we're fine. What the hell, man? Is it just you out here? I think that was the sc most scared I've ever been. But aside from him being a little freak, he ha he does have a nice hiking bag. So you know what, sir? I thank you for the loot that you have given me. Look at that. We got ourselves a free hiking bag out in the middle of nowhere. I hope no other zombies heard that, but if we would have seen them by now, we would have seen them. Though I am going to do a 360 for a little bit because all it takes is one ninja zombie to sneak up on me while I'm taking this bag, and it's game over. Okay, we're good. Anyway, sir, that hiking bag, it's mine now. So are the, uh, so, so is the camo shirt. Why the hell not? We'll roll up the sleeves, and it keeps with our green look. I look so goofy, dude. <laughs> How do I look without the massive bulletproof vest? Marginally better. You know what? I'm not going to take the bulletproof vest. It might save my life, but in Zomboid, I go under the impression that if I get hit in the first place, I don't deserve to live, right? So let's go drop everything in our new hiking bag. Thank you again, sir. And we can go look around for furniture like I intended. Hey, we got ourselves a single nail. That means I can re-spool my fishing rod. Oh, by the way, it looks like Robin is so dumb with fishing, I can't even re-spool a fishing rod when we get the nail. I just, I physically can't. So it looks like we're gonna have to go spear fishing very soon. We do have an extra rod that I can use in the meanwhile. But before I get carried away, I do want to grab a quick, where is it? tree branch right over here so I can fashion up a couple of spears. Never mind, I used all of the <laughs> chipped stones in order to make in order to make axes to chop down the trees. So I can't do that right now. Damn. Well, at the very least we do have ourselves an extra fishing rod that I can use. 
God diggity dang it. That was my second catch. Okay. I'm gonna go look around for some chipped stones now. Nice, we did get some. Now I can finally use that to make a spear so I can go spear fishing. Come on, man. I I thought this was going to be a very simple and very uh, chill episode, but everything that is going wrong has went wrong. And the smallest things that I can't get, I just I, I, I'm just struggling out here, and now I'm too exhausted to even make a fire. I'll save it for the morning. It's already 2 p.m. We're going to continue fishing, and maybe we can get a big haul in the morning. I am just not having a good day today at all. Come on, man. I fished for the rest of the day, and all I got was a single bass. I... I am actually struggling very hard out here to even do something as simple as light a fire. I I'm struggling. This is this is not a good look. This game just hates me so much so that the entire goal that I had was to gain weight and I've not gained a single pound. Matter of fact, I'm going to be losing weight very soon. Why can't I start a damn fire, bro? Please. I can't have anything in Knox County, man. I'm going to see if I can start the fire in the morning. And if I can, I'm going to do a massive supercut. I don't care if this episode takes an entire in-game month. I am gaining weight. Okay. All right. This is the this is the chance. This All you have to do is light the fire once, Robin. Robin, please. <laughs> Robin. Robin, I, I, I haven't seen any characters so... Oh my God, there it is. We finally got there, and now that we have, I can go grab some extra water because I am a very thirsty boy. But yes, if things go a little bit better now, all I'm going to be doing is spear fishing, crossing my fingers I catch some bigger fish, leveling up my skills, and maybe in the future, we can finally leave this campground. This is a crucible and Robin will be a stronger person by the end of it. At the very least, he'll be a wilderness damn survivalist. All we gotta do is have a little bit of faith. And hey, that's the chopper event. That is one extra bonus that I would like to just update you guys on, is that in the middle of the woods, we probably don't have to worry too much about it. Yeah, no, I'm not worried at all, actually. <laughs> we continue to fish. Chopper event be damned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the chopper is already gone, and I'm catching more and more fish as the days go on as well. Almost halfway to level one in fishing. It's not an easy life, but I think with a little bit of perseverance, we actually can gain the weight that we've lost and then some. I just need to be constantly on the grind. Hey, and that's a new level of cooking as well. See, it's all worth it at the end. <laughs> Give me this damn fish. I need to eat it now. Now, this is what I was thinking of when I started this episode, and it's also a dinner for kings. This is the kind of haul we need to gain some major weight. We got a bunch of pike, a bunch of perch, catfish, and all of that fishy goodness. Eating two alone is able to make me gain weight, and if I were to eat the rest right now, we would gain even more. Right now, my progress is quite literally nothing because I started the entire game at 70 pounds, but this is where we start to make a comeback. I am going to continue to fish, even if it takes another week, but with the amount that I'm catching right now, I think this is our time to thrive. The only problem is the fire starting is a little bit uh, RNG based. So sometimes I get very lucky, and sometimes I just can't get a fire started for the entire day, which has led to some pretty close calls. But we have been using the toilet paper in order to cook the fish in a very efficient way, right? Because if you didn't know, toilet paper actually has a meter or a durability, I guess. And because it has that, a single stack of toilet paper has about 36 units, and just one unit is an extra 12 minutes. So right now, this half-used toilet paper roll is enough to start a fire, 
for five hours straight. So all I've been doing is like dropping six units inside of the oven at each time, and it's just enough time for me to cook up the fish and save on firewood. So we are pretty much maxing out our fishing grind set. Sadly, a fishing trap did break, and I gotta say, it feels like Robin is finally in his element. All we have to do is fish for another week. Alrighty, it has been 14 days and 13 hours, so about, mm, I would say, 9 days since I've made it to this campground, and I finally feel a semblance of a schedule, right? I go fishing for the entire day, and as soon as it's around 10 to 9 p.m., I decide to pack it up for the night. Today's haul for fishing is pretty nice, catching three pikes, two bass, one crappie, and one trout. And the way I just kind of gain weight as fast as possible is eating all of the previously cooked fish in my bag while I am out fishing, right? And that way I can always stay fed and just shove in as many calories as possible. But as soon as I do have all of the fish caught for the day, I just batch throw them into the wood furnace and we cook them up with a tiny amount of uh toilet paper just like that lighting up the fire with friction sometimes the fire takes a little bit to take off and hopefully today is not one of those days and if it is i can always go to sleep early and try it again in the future and because i ran out of sturdy sticks it looks like it's a tomorrow problem that's fine we can go grab our freshly cooked pot of water continuing to eat our fish so I can go to sleep, start it up proper, and lay down our haul on the floor just so you see how how lucrative fishing in the wilderness can get. So yeah, that's, that, that's quite literally it. I'm going to continue to fish for a while longer after, and I will talk to you when I'm at about 80 kilos or just the normal weight for characters. Oh my lord, here it is. Do you see that? That right at that bottom. We have finally breached the threshold to become a fishing god. That is a 112 centimeter big pike. This is a monster fish. I... Minus 100 hunger. Let's see how big it is in the... <laughs> yeah, no. Um, this is how we gain our weight. This, this right here... We are currently at 75 pounds going up. This single pike right here will have so many calories packed into it. That's the kind of fish we're looking for. And Robin has finally gotten the, st the, the ticket right for that, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be quick now. Oh, my. I, I am genuinely surprised at that size of the fish. <laughs> Damn, Robin! We're catching some big ones in this very tiny pond. Genuine monsters in here. Once in a lifetime fish, one might say. But that seems to be it for today. But those four fish will keep me fed for an eternity. I also still have all of the reserve fish that I'm still nomming on as well. I am a very full boy, if you guys couldn't tell. What an absolute chunk, dude. That fish is the size of me. Like, if I were to lay down right now, that fish is, is probably longer than me, even. Yeah, no, we are. We are set. It's, it's only going to take a few more days now, man. I meant it when I said it, everyone. I'm making it to 80 kilos today. And if I gotta eat the pike the size of a man to do that, I gotta do what I gotta do. Holy crap. <laughs> I just ate that in one go. I am honestly surprised my character didn't explode. But we actually have not gotten past uh, the plus one chevron weight threshold. That is very surprising. But I guess steady weight gain is better than no weight gain at all. Okay, the next time I update y'all, it'll actually be when I reach a decent weight. So yeah, you already know what's happening to me.
And with that spear breaking and a new level of fishing, I think I can finally give this entire arc a break. We have spent more time than I had originally thought just fishing. It's been a lot of fishing, so much fishing that I have outfished this entire area. We have survived for 22 days and 11 hours killing 20 zombies. That's not a very good rate, but with how long I spent fishing, we could probably say that Robin has outlived about 80% of all of my characters. We have also made it to level 2 fishing, level 2 cooking, and level 2 foraging in this run alone. But now that we are finally a normal weight, no longer underweight, we can leave this chapter behind us. But of course, we have to cook one last time. <laughs> Also, by the way, uh, this single roll of toilet paper has lasted me for like 18 days straight. It is insane on how useful toilet paper is. We still got an extra hour on this bad boy, man. So if you do find toilet paper, it is an extremely nice resource to have. So much so, the toilet paper event would literally give you enough fuel to last your entire Project Zomboid life. But hopefully we'll be able to start this fire up before the new day starts and we can finally leave. Oh, one last thing. I'm pretty depressed, obviously from the amount of fish. We're gonna take some uh, antidepressants in order to have myself a clean slate later. We'll also eat this last small perch and please start up a fire. I just want one. And now that we have it, we can cook up all of our delicious food. Take all them bad boys out. Oh, leave that one in. Leave that one in. And we can just engorge ourselves on so much fish, dude. <laughs> I love it here. We can shove it all in our bag as well. And I think we have finally beat the, I guess, food problem in Project Zomboid, yeah. But it has finally paid off so much so that we are all gonna be at 81 kilos going on up as well. So yeah, we got ourselves food, we got ourselves water, we got ourselves a free bag and a spear. This episode is a little bit shorter and a little bit more boring, but in a hive mind challenge, you need those breaks. Because as soon as we're done here, next episode is gonna have us traversing to the abandoned warehouses, which really wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't right next to the rail yard. This area is usually pretty clear, but I fear if I attract a single zombie, I'm gonna get run out very quickly. And as soon as we're done there, we're gonna hit the intersection. And if we do get a car at the intersection, we're off to Rosewood. And hopefully by then, we will find ourselves enough supplies to have a car and a Molotov to try to take on a town. I have no idea how well it's gonna work, but it, it's worth the shot, right? At the very least, we won't be dying of hunger. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more, uh, especially for Robin's beard. I will see all of you next time. Peace the hell out, everyone.